Holy crap, you both look the same! You're like twins! Um, okay. <laughs> uh, that'll do the trick. I need to reset some lesser systems. So we're gonna lose lights for a few seconds. Sounds good. Why am do I trapped it. in here? Okay, the barracks is next. Get there for some energy charging goodness. We'll back up and everything is in the green. The virus is gone. I hope. Good work. I think we can all breathe a little easier now. Well, I'll be damned. Hey, uh, guys. I think the virus may have tampered with our local newswire connection. There's a channel that wasn't there an hour ago, and yet it's most voted over the past three hours. There's some seriously strange stuff going on in London right now. Oh, gods. Let me guess. The Churchill Tower. You got it. And we've also got a second incoming TS packet from London. This is not happening. Let me patch the newswire broadcast through the whole ship. Just a sec. If this freak thunder snowstorm wasn't enough for one day, it's hard to believe that an unknown number of armed terrorists have taken control of the Churchill the Tower. The Galley Chat Station's online. Their supports are sketchy but conclusive. And I assure you, this is no prank. Voice and image recognition have confirmed. The leader of the Hoshes Takers is none other than Saad bin Laden. I assure you again, this is no joke. Saad bin Laden, you'll remember, was thought to have been killed almost 15 years ago during one of the final American raids against Al Qaeda. Your guess is as good as mine, folks, and all I can tell you right now is to stay by the newswire. The instant I know more, you will too. This is Malcolm Thomas, reporting from London, England, just outside the Churchill Tower. Thought to have been killed. Sard war. Hangar Bay charge stations online. Oh my god, Wade. Don't you guys realize? Patricia knew. She said the bishop cannot reach the Churchill Tower. You don't think? No, Alana. I can assure you that the king will not be sending us to London. We've had enough excitement for one day. <clears throat> yeah. Well, I had to be the bringer of disappointment, but... Don't you dare say it, Wade. I've just been given a course change from the King. We're headed for the center of London. Seriously? Does he not know what we've been through today? Tell him to send Tiamat. Everyone knows Night Eleven loves these types of missions. No joke, Alana. Five minutes till mission briefing. The Come energy on, charge Kay. station in Mission Do Ops something. is now operational. Isn't right? Okay, everyone. You heard, Wade. Meet in the hollow room on the double. Briefing in five. So, everyone's just going to ignore me now? A bloody Bin Laden in London? This isn't just insane, it's some sort of practical joke. It has to be. Alana, today is proving to be full of surprises. You should really learn to roll with the punches. Shut up, Kieran. <laughs> ah. Right, well, everything Hello, just got crazy. Seeker. Yes, I Whoa. know it's you. What the hell? I understand Interdimensional Games has created a video game from your trips to this world. Even calling it Consortium. Are you familiar with what they call their alternate reality game? Do you know who I am? The lounge charge station's online. Wade, go away! I keep hearing that. Seeker. What does it mean? You are the seeker of knowledge, of truth, of understanding. Your world has shaped my past and is directly responsible for my survival at an early age. I ask again, do you know who I am? No. I told Vidal it was a mistake to open this connection to the uninitiated. This game you call Consortium was a mistake. And your rift should only be accessed by those prepared to better this world through informed action. Okay, the barracks is next. Get there for some energy charging goodness. Wade is never going to be quiet. <laughs> he is never, ever, ever going to be quiet. <sighs> it is hard keeping the game more straight. That's kind of the option I want to go with. But I haven't even read it, that's a problem. I guess I just haven't read enough of the information console. Uh, right, and who's Vidal? Vidal de Search, founder of the IDGI-1 satellite. Unbelievable. How can you possibly understand what you're getting yourself into? You are openly vulnerable to manipulation. 
IDGI should know better. The lounge charge station's online. Do you want my... Uh, no. You can trust I'll make the right decisions, although actually... He or she or it or whatever uh, actually can't because I have no idea what's going on, but I'll say it anyway. Can I? Like I trusted Braden Shaw, or Walter Greenberg for that matter. Humans have a faulty wire up there somewhere. It says that trust is the same as love or hate. Mere words to be tossed around at your convenience. Those are people from the alternate reality game, I, I assume. <sighs> my childhood, my fragile development stage, reduced to an ancillary alternate reality game, full of game lore. Hang on, charge stations online. Is a strange one. <laughs> what did you expect? It's hard to believe any of this is real. I can assure you, it is. Your world is the first to treat the connection in the manner you have. Many are operated privately by governments, others by private organizations. Never has a connection to my world been handled so... publicly. So how many other Earths are there? Though yours is unique, there are countless other Earths. I cannot tell you why you are so unique, because I do not know. My proverbial gut simply tells me your world must be treated with care. The galley charge station's special. online. Well, I suppose we shouldn't keep the others waiting too much longer. Wait. Why do you allow such an amoral intrusion into the mind of Bishop Six? Your IDGI and Canadian government are making the choice to send people through the rift. I'm only allowing you through with the hopes you will do what is right. Let me return the question and ask. If you feel it is amoral, why are you here? The energy charge station in Mission Ops is now operational. Ah, uh, wait. I want to make a difference in your world, as best I can. So because the connection exists, you may as well try and use it for good? I can appreciate that, sort of. But what about the others in your world who are having fun playing a game? Do you know how many Bishop Sixes are being maimed and killed as we speak? I'm only trying to do the right thing? That doesn't sound right, but I'll go with it. Online. I'm sorry, and you're right. You have passed all the various tests they've thrown at you, and survived. Your abilities are being tested, Seeker. But to what end, I do not know. Okay, now we've really got to get to work. And don't even think about trying to get out of this. You can either disconnect right now, or suck it up and help save the world. The choice is yours. Okay, well, I don't intend to disconnect, so let's get to it. Between Lounge and Hangar Bay. The holographic situation room, is that here? Yeah, yeah, it is. Right, so I only have the vaguest of ideas of what's actually going on, but let's roll with it. Six, go ahead and take a seat. We'll be getting started soon. The lounge charge station's online. <clears throat> All right, everyone. The king tells me he's ready for us. Zen, display priority consortium signal, authorization code 7383 Alpha. 7383 Alpha, accepted. Now connecting, consortium king. Happy holidays, everyone. So let's hear it then. Why us? 
Stormbird or Tiamat should be given this one. We're in no condition to be handling a mission like this. Elana, let him talk. Rook 25, I can only ask that you be patient. And trust me, you should also know that I have personally reviewed the all of your CMC online. records with nothing of note found. And I am told X03 is in effect. Wait. Should I display my ignorance? Hmm. I won't. Yes, it is. And we're ready for whatever comes next. So, the bishop is in. And the king has never steered us wrong before. Okay, let's hear the plan. Good. We don't have any time to waste. Now, before I get into the details of this operation, I've decided to bring in another rook to remotely aid you. Not only can his political knowledge be helpful, but he also has personal ties with what is occurring in London. One, One moment. moment. Some, Some of you already know Rook 3. The energy charge station James in Mission Ops is now operational. Uh, sorry, Rook 3. <laughs> what a wonderful surprise. I thought you'd been abducted. I haven't heard a word in months. Hello, Taryn. Certainly been a while. Things have been pretty crazy up here lately. Disarming Strawman and Global was a real bitch of a job. I've been meaning to connect. Are you all right? What is going on? I'm fine. One minute I'm T.O. in my quarters, and the next I'm being dragged here by my assistant. Jim, you pencil-pushing bastard. <laughs> you know you still owe me a drink. Wait, you crazy bastard. I can't believe they keep giving you the keys to that bucket. Okay, the barracks is next. Get there for some energy charging goodness. <laughs> Here, let me introduce you to our savior of the day, Bishop Six. He took down Angelov, survived an assassination attempt, and is all around a pretty great guy. Bishop, I still don't know what in the pits is going on, but it sounds like you saved some lives. There's a lot of goddamn good people on that plane, so nice work. Hell of a first day. Hi. It sure sounds like you've got some history with this crew. Yeah, Terran and I go way back. And I was on that crew for a time when Zenlil was first commissioned. Yes, he was. Rook 3 here was once an integral part of this crew. What happened that made you leave? <laughs> it didn't work The Galley out. Charge Station's <laughs> online. Well, hello there, Alana. I knew you couldn't keep from running your motor much longer. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> so, uh, Jim, how's Darcy been anyway? Last I heard she was over in China, managing a plant for the Global Senate. She's fine, thanks. I haven't seen her in a while, but she's actually been living in London for the past year or so. Doing well for herself. Oh, bugger. I'm... I'm sorry. What? What's going on? How long have you been sleeping? I don't know, five, maybe six hours? Why? Somebody better tell me something. I will explain. Please, we are running low on time. The Churchill Tower, built over the River Thames, near the financial district of London, England. Oh, God. Did the damn thing blow up? No, Rook 3. Hang From what we can so far ascertain, your daughter Darcy and the other hostages have been unharmed. Hostages? Is this some kind of bad joke? I know my birthday is coming up again. No, no joke. joke. Not like last year. I will explain everything. Now, as I was saying, the Churchill Tower is the second tallest building in the world, standing at 840 meters and consisting of 208 floors, including those below ground. The top 43 floors are in mid-construction and will soon be a five-star hotel. A partially constructed roof will thus supply several safe landing zones for our bishop to aim for. No offense to anyone present, but I'd like to request Bishop 10 for this mission. He'd get my dossier out of that nuke and waiting without breaking a sweat. Bishop 6 will get her back. Rook 3. Okay, the barracks is next. You that. Get there for some energy oh, charging goodness. You say so. <laughs> Just breathe, Seeker. Breathe. I'm just fine, thank you. Good. 
It's not like they're judging you or anything. What we are mostly concerned with is what lies between the hotel and the businesses below. A currently unknown number of armed soldiers have seized this section of the building, the Churchill Tower Power Facility, specifically where Rook 3's daughter, Darcy Lensworth, is employed. British authorities have given us control of the situation, and we've been asked to handle things the as soon as The charge station's possible. online. Sir, the newswire says these so-called terrorists are led by Saad bin Laden. How is that possible? Clearly, American intelligence over the death of bin Laden was incorrect. Someone is luring us, and we're playing right into it like a bunch of amateurs. It's Bishop 2 all over again. Unless you have something useful to add, Alana, please be quiet. I kind of want to say nothing. I'm just going to say nothing. Voice and image analysis have confirmed that their leader is in fact the energy Osama charge Bin station in mission ops is now Here's operational. His statement of their demands as passed to us by British authorities. I'll let it speak for itself. Allahu Akbar wal Azzatulillah. Laqad hursilna nahnu huna fi muhimma jihadiyya muqaddasa liwad'i had lil khiyana wal khida' alladhi yumarisahu al gharb ala shu'ubna. وقد وصلتنا بحمد الله وعونه معلومات عن نظام إيصال للسلاح الكيميائي في إكس واي الذي يتم تطويره على منشآت مبنية فوق أراضينا نحن لقتل ملايين المسلمين حتى على الرغم من توقيع اتحاد أمريكا الشمالية على معاهدة حظر أسلحة الدمار الشامل المجموعة التي تم القبض عليها هم مهندسو وفنيي هذا المشروع الاستعماري وهم شركاء في الجريمة أيضا اتبعوا تعليماتنا ونفذوا طلبنا لنفرج عنهم وإن تجاهلتم طلباتنا سوف نضيقهم غضب الله الشديد الله أكبر واو A VXY delivery system A holy crusade NAU conspiracies Are suffering the wrath of God and when did people start becoming infidels again? For all intent and purpose, Bin Laden and the men fighting for him should not exist. We also have no idea why they believe a VXY delivery system is being developed on site, and this makes them highly dangerous. Clearly, disinformation is involved. But the threat is real. So, if it's not a weapon, can we assume someone else let them into the tower for another the reason? The lounge charge station's Yours online. This would be my first guess. <laughs> Maybe. These sons of bitches are just stupid and have bad information. I'm only exploring all possibilities. It sounds to me like you're only running your mouth and clouding the issue. Jesus. I almost want to tell them both to shut up, but then they're probably both going to hate me. Alright, just let it go. He's trying to get a rise out of you. I know he is. And it's working. Kay, look. I'm not about to take this bureaucrat's high-handed garbage for an entire mission. Relax, Boyle. Alana, you need to accept the situation and let us move forward. Right. Now. I'm... I'm sorry. Again. I guess I haven't exactly been looking forward the to this visit with my dad. Online. Well, I guess I don't have to worry about that anymore, do I? Oh, you're making me cry. Alana, don't. Just don't. Thank you, Night 15. British police, of course, have been explaining to this Bin Laden how ridiculous his claim is. To no avail. It, it is time, time for action. action. Bishop, I know this is your first real mission, but I want the terrorists subdued and the hostages rescued, by the numbers. This means following your knight's instructions to the letter. I can actually say, I'm not touching this one. You're all insane. The energy charge station in Mission Ops is now operational. Yes, thank you, Wade. 
And frankly, this is pretty insane, but I'm on it to the letter. I'm glad to hear that. It's all right, Seeker. I think you'll find yourself a natural at this. Just keep your head down and avoid getting shot in the head. Night 15. I will leave the remaining details in your capable hands. Good luck, everyone. And I've got some catching up to do. I'll see y'all at Mission Star. All right. So, we've only got a few minutes till drop time. Brooks, I want you to start prepping by studying schematics and all the other background data that's been supplied to us. I'll be in my office doing the same. Uh, boss? Uh, Kirill is awake and he's asking for the bishop. Well, he, he's actually having a bit of a fit. Bishop? Maybe before you head over to the hangar bay, you could go and speak to him. Okay, the barracks is next. See what you can Get find there for out. some energy charging Just goodness. Just make sure you have enough time to gear up in the hangar bay before it's time to jump. Of course, of course. All right, let's go have a chat with him. <laughs> She's still there. Interesting. Well, I guess we do have bigger problems than picking her... Actually, she's only unconscious. Well, now she's cut in half. <laughs> Child, no but, I mean, she should obviously be put in a holding cell. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to save the game. And I'm going to load it again, hoping that it's going to stop Wade from talking. I, what save am I on? I don't know. Two, not There. That's good enough. Alright, let's hope reloading stops Wade from babbling about the recharge stations for all of eternity. Celestial governance. And worst of all for you, your god is nowhere to be found. You haven't seen the things I have. Whoa. Uh, no, now she's here. This, then. What oh, okay. have you seen? The Guardian of Wisdom is here on Earth. Many of them have returned in anticipation of the prophecy fulfillment. They are here, waiting. Wisdom showed me what was to come. Wisdom brought me into the great abyss of time, and through the ancestor's light, I saw mass atrocities committed by Bishop Six here and his crew. Hang away, charge stations it online. Sounds to me like someone fed you LSD soaked baby food, <laughs> and then proceeded to fill your simple mind with lies. I thought you were an enemy of the Consortium. Why do you fight me? If there's one thing I hate more than the Consortium and its king, is a traitor to their own people. You are less than scum. I am not a traitor. I swore allegiance long before the king existed. Before he was even an idea in Shelter's head. I was never part of the Consortium, nor the Guardian Church, if you are wondering. They are both... lies. Hmm. The Energy Trap Station and Mission Ops is now Try operational. Not to lose it. They are both puppet organizations. False teeth for a far more powerful entity that controls us all. And I do not mean K-1. And so, you actually know who this more powerful entity is? Tell me. Now you want to hear what I have to say. Forget it. You don't even know who they are, do you? You don't deserve the truth. You were given every advantage to destroy this plane, and yet you still failed. Mm. I was only hired to end one life, not their whole crew. It would be like blowing up a bus full of school Okay, children. the barracks is next. The Get there for some fallen energy charging goodness. Instead, he fought like he could anticipate our every move. We barely stood a chance. You barely stood at all. And you were hired to protect the lives of every man, woman, and child in London. Kill the bishop. Crew expendable. You cold, demented woman. I do not count lives against lives. It's about honor. Uh, you really believe this destiny nonsense, don't you? <laughs> this is no wonder they chose you. <clears throat> uh, guys? 
What do you want? <laughs> Am I getting under your skin, pawn? All right, I don't care about Kirill too much. The galley charge station's online. So, this Guardian of Wisdom is here? On Earth? Yes. <laughs> ah, you were so far in over your head. I wonder if he calls himself the Guardian of Wisdom. Is anyone else picturing a wirehead in his mother's basement? <laughs> <laughs> that little laugh at the end. <laughs> oh, that's adorable. Um, hmm. All right. Let's say I believe you. Why is this Wisdom Guardian here? To prepare us for something. Something marvelous. I can't even describe it. It's a feeling they have given. Okay, the a, barracks is next. Get there for some energy charging goodness. The Churchill Tower will be ground zero to a spiritual revolution. Praise God! I do not like the sound of that. So, they did drug her. Do you not see what is happening here, Bishop? This one here leads you to that tower by telling you not to go, where they will then not hesitate to detonate the entire power facility. It certainly does seem like a trap. Okay, enough. Why is the Churchill Tower so the important? Charge stations online. Do you really believe it holds merely a power facility? Or that it's some kind of weapon system? Tell me, who do you think owns the hotel they are building above the facility? <clears throat> I, uh, know the answer to that. It's David Shelter. One of his subsidiaries owns the hotel, and it seems his worldview industries partly owns the power facility. Blimey, what does that even mean? Okay, but yeah, what does that mean? David Shelter. And so, the who is he? The station in Mission Ops is now operational. Why should I care? What? He is the King's creator. CEO of Worldview Industries? The man who they say vanished a decade ago. The bishop here has a habit of saying the strangest things. So you're suggesting the shelter is working against us? He could be. His disappearance is suspect in itself. A man like that doesn't disappear unless he wants to. One theory is that he realized his mistake in building the king and has set out to make it right. I've heard that one. I've also heard that he is dead, killed by one of his rivals at Stroman, or Obsidian. There's also the one that says he is living and working on a top secret project of some kind. Something even bigger than the king. If either the of you The lounge charge station's online. That's all I'm going to say. They'll come. And when they do, they'll have to spare me. God help me. <laughs> I did what he told me. Maybe he meant for me to fail this time. Maybe I'll be given another chance. Maybe I can still kill the bishop after all. Shut up. After you say, I have said all I am going to say. It really hurts my feelings when you in fact do not stop speaking. <laughs> God will protect me. I know he will. He must. God is dead. Your other church killed him. <sighs> Blasphemous bastard! Well, isn't she just a whole pile of fun? Hangar Bay charge stations online. Uh, who just closed this? Wait, who, who pressed the button? Huh. Okay. Just so we are clear, I do not like you very much, but I may need you before this day is done. 
So if I tell you what I know, the truth, what do I get in return? Use his family. He's got a wife named Ivana and an eight-year-old daughter named Liliana. Both are hiding out in Varna City. All right. Okay, the barracks is next. Get there for some energy charging goodness. What about Ivana and Liliana and Varna? Do they need help? Uh, what about them? They are safely locked away. Tell me the truth, or never speak of my family again. Wow, I can actually threaten to kill his family. There's no way I'm doing that. In Varna City, we know. We can help them. Where in Varna are they located? If you know, you must tell me. If you really want to do this, they're in a warehouse off the east end of Primorsky Park. What's left of it, anyway? Does the east end of Primorsky Park sound about right? If your king knows who you are, then so do the people that I have failed. My family is already dead. I resign to my fate, Bishop, and I am prepared to die as your enemy. You deserve what is coming. That man never ceases to amaze me. And don't let him bother you. He's just frightened because the moment we land, he'll be going to prison for a very, very long time. Now, get yourself to the hangar bay and prepare for your jump. Wow, okay. The more I play this game, the more I'm seeing different avenues where I can make very different decisions that will probably lead to very different outcomes. I'm pretty sure I could have gotten the information from him. Maybe if I didn't say I knew exactly the where they were. Charge stations online. Maybe. Bishop, you need to gear up. We only have a couple of minutes on the clock. Come to the hangar bay. I'm coming, I'm coming. There she is. Or is it her? Bishop, come get what you're here for. I know, I know. Hold on just a second. Alright, I'll be right back. Alright, let's pick up my equipment. What have you got for me? It's all set to go. Just plug yourself in here and stock up. Once you choose, there's no going back until you return to Zenlin. Oh, and make sure to grab a free fall suit, or you're not going anywhere. Ah, I don't need one. The energy charge station in Mission Ops is <coughs> now operating. Damn it, Wade, fuck. <sighs> Wait, did I just save it? I think I just saved it. Oh, whatever, I'll save it again. Save, what was I on? Like, that, that's, that's good. You know, I'm not even sure if it actually displays the names I put. Oh, no, it does. Okay. All right. So, Bishop, once you're sure you have what you want, let me know, and we'll get you off this boat. Alright. Well, I'm of course going non-lethal, so I won't be taking that. I already have one of these. What is this? Inertial dampener node. Negates various external forces capable of pushing the user around, such as explosive shockwaves and extreme wind. Hmm. Where do I put it? The galley charge station's online. Where do I put it? It appears to fit in no. Oh, there we go. Right. One of each. Oh, you know what? They do actually absorb... They take energy. Eh, that's fine. Stormproof freefall suit. So do I need that instead of the suit? Or what? Where does it go? I don't think I actually need that. That was just for a quest, wasn't it? 
unknown energy containment device. I don't know. I am confused. Okay, the barracks is next. Get there for some energy charge and goodness. Can I take this off? Oh no, I lost all my things. I guess I have to put my things back on. What the f- Can I not take those? I'm very confused. Uh, okay, I guess I'm not taking those things. I will take that, I'll take my weapon. Shot grenade. Sure. You can have that. Charge stations online. I will take more. If nothing else, I don't plan on throwing a hundred grenades. <laughs> it's a little bit excessive, but I could at least recycle them for energy. Alright, let me try that again. Like, is this broken? So, Bishop, once you're sure you have what you want, let me know and we'll get you off this boat. No, I guess it just doesn't have slots. So I really can't wear it. Like, I can't wear my normal suit and the freefall suit, correct? I... I guess... I guess, let's go! So, are you ready yet? Mm-hmm. Good. Okay, sir. He stocked up. I'm ready to break heads. The lounge charge stations online. We're already pattern around the Churchill Tower. Open the hangar bay door and wait for Wade's order. Bishop, be careful. You won't get in shot. We're in position. Boom. Holding just above most of the turbulence from the storm. I should be making this steady for your job. Right, well, this thing has some thrusters, which is awesome. All right, Bishop. Whoa. It really only looks worse than it is. Okay. Your free fall suit will do most of the work for you. Good luck down there, B. We'll keep me covered from up here. You got nothing to worry about. I can't even see the ground. I'm a little bit worried. The energy charge station in Mission Ops is now operational. Any time now? Um, all right. Goodbye. If I can have everyone's attention for a minute, I wanted to say a few quick words before we get down to business. Oh, it's speech time again. <laughs> yes, well, it is. There's no question that we have all been put to the ultimate test today. And in my mind, we have so far succeeded brilliantly. The King is asking for our blind trust and patience with this Churchill Tower debacle. And I, for one, am ready to give it to him. Now. We may not all agree with our new bishop's position here with us. In fact, some of you even believe he is to blame for all our troubles. But the fact is, he has gotten us this far, and he is a consortium bishop. He is one of ours, and I for one refuse to point fingers and throw blame around. What the hell? All officers to mission operations, followed by 20 centimeters of snow. Th this is the same scene as when I first woke up. Facing one hell of a storm. Again. Early this morning at the port of Phoenixville. This is when I first woke up again. Found dead in the cargo container ship. The ship had initiated auto docking procedures and emergency personnel. But Alana Boyle isn't coming to no to talk to me aboard. this time. 21 one, one, one. dead. Nothing further. Including cause of death, oh no, there she is. Had been Lights. By a Much better. And that's the latest Not from so here sorry to wake you, Bishop. I'm Malcolm Thomas. We thought you should know about our little escort. Wait. Haven't we done this already? 
You guys see that? Huh? That one was a little close. But you have nothing to worry about. We'll run a full body scan. Just to be sure. Um, of course, of course. Okay. Now what the hell was that? Two near hits in a row. I'm running a diagnostic. Now we're back here. Hello. What do I do? Do I get shot? Do I punch him? Kill the bastard. Kill him now. Yeah, I don't ever take me alive. Okay, I guess I'm gonna run away now. I do the being invincible. Okay, what am I supposed to do here? Like, I don't have a weapon. I couldn't talk to I'm not entirely sure this is how this scene was supposed to play out. Not entirely sure. Did it just like bug out again? Like what the hell am I supposed to do? Alright, I think the game's broken again. God, I don't know if I'm ever going to be able to freaking finish this game. It's just brick wall after brick wall. If I can have everyone's attention for a minute, I wanted to say a few quick words before we get down to business. Oh, it's speech time again. <laughs> yes, wait. There is no question that we have all been put to the ultimate test today. And in my mind, we have so far succeeded brilliantly. The King is asking for our blind trust and patience with this Churchill Tower debacle. And I, for one, am ready to give it to him. Now, we may not all agree with our new Bishop's position here with us. In fact, some of you even believe he is to blame for all our troubles. But, the fact is, he has gotten us this far, and he is a consortium of bishop. He is one of ours, and I for one refuse to point fingers and throw blame around. Hello, folks. It's almost Christmas. All the children are eagerly awaiting the Seeker's arrival. Throughout most of the UK, there will be all officers to mission operations, followed by 20 centimeters of snow. Here at home, we're facing one hell of a storm front. Early this morning at the port of Felixstown, 21 workers were found dead in a cargo container ship. 
Okay, let's try this again. Let's go different options this time. Hello. Much better. Not so sorry to wake you, Bishop. We thought you should know about our little escort. This time, I'm going to say nothing. see that? That one was a little close, but you have nothing to worry about. I'll run a full body scan. Right, let's go ahead and save here. Bishop Six, welcome to the medical bay. Hello. Okay, now what the hell was that? Two near hits in a row. I'm running a diagnostic. Okay. Now, what do I do here? Let's not punch him this time. Can I talk to him? I can't. I can't talk to him. I have nothing in my inventory. Hi. Hi. Why are you gyrating, sir? Okay, then. Yes, yes, you're all gonna shoot me. Big guns and all. Can I talk to you now? No. Alright, the elevator button activated, but it doesn't appear to actually be opening. Oh. Oh, there we go. Was, was that it? Is that what I was supposed to do? Let's have a seat. Well, that was a wonderful experience. My sister's going as well. She's never been to the theater before. Being a hologram in the seats, it doesn't really count as going to the theater, does it? At least it gives her some culture for a change. Something better than the hours she spends in that VR world she calls a life. Hey now, that VR world makes her happy, no? I don't know. I just don't see the appeal of living your life like that. It's not really living. Uh, tell her that to the millions of wire heads out there. Right, so there's little fragments of what's been happening around the ship now. Alright, so this is before Bishop Eight's death, right? Hi. I still feel like I'm not... what the hell? What? I'm pretty sure it's not supposed to be that way. I think that's like the source... The source engine missing texture... texture? I'm pretty sure I'm not supposed to be up here. How do I... Is this what I'm supposed to do? Welcome to the introductory consortium bishop training scenario. I'm Rook I'm pretty sure I'm not supposed to be here. I think I've broken the game again. Primary objective, obtain your CMC. Okay, am I supposed to be doing this? Hi. Whoa. Good afternoon, sleepyhead. I believe it's over here, even though I can't see a thing. 
Isn't, isn't the door to the CMC? Where's the... Yep, here we go. Six, welcome to mission operations. First things first, here is your consortium mind communicator. I'm pretty sure I'm not supposed to be here. I can't even... Sir? Yeah, like I said, it's alright, 19. It must be a glitch or something's gone and broken on her. The king's looking into it. We'll find Angelo. I see. Well, if there's anything else I can do to help, you let me know. Oh, there we go. Please, hold on to the CMC. Hearing consortium mind communicator over and over just gives me a headache. I'm, I'm almost certain I'm not supposed to be here. Well, hello there, handsome. What is happening? I do not understand. Are, are they still in the hangar bay? I went the wrong way again, didn't I? I did. Well, how should I know? What the fuck? God, this is a nightmare. Why can't I just finish this game? I just want to keep playing. Why is it so hard just to keep playing? Alright, where's where's the save I made? That's the one right before I took the equipment. I mean, I'm pretty sure I need this suit, but let's try going without it. Uh, I'm not giving the go-ahead on the door with you still wearing a BUS. <laughs> Put a free fall suit on. So, Bishop, once you're sure you have what you want, let me know and we'll get you off this boat. It's just going to do the, the same thing again, isn't it? Online. Like, I don't... What? <laughs> What can I do differently that would allow me to get past this? I don't understand. Ah, this is so frustrating. Like, I finally thought I got past the roadblock and that was stopping me from finishing this game, but then here it is again. Whee! Let's the lounge try it again. charge station's online. I, I can't even talk to her anymore. Are you, are you serious? So, Bishop, once you're sure you have what you want, let me know and we'll get you off this boat. What the fuck is happening? So, Bishop, once you're sure you have what you want, let me know and we'll get you off this boat. Mm-hmm. What? <sighs> okay. One more try. One more try. I'm sure. I... I can't even talk to her anymore. Mm. 
When's my last save game from? It's like 20 minutes ago. What was I doing then? And worst of all for you, oh, back to this. Your god is nowhere to be found. Okay. I have. Uh, Can I just like skip right to the? What have you seen? Six, get the hell out of there, Bishop. What? What are we doing here? You've got your bad guy in Prong 32. We are innocent. It's not his call. You know that. Oh, yeah. They're all locked up in here. Dean is watching us through the Bishop CMC. Sorry. Just let it go, Adele. She has every right to suspect another one of us. Patricia was the last person I think any of us suspected in the first place. <sighs> I'll let it go. But once we reach Ireland and we've all been cleared, I expect an apology from Night 15. And his crew. It sounds to the be energy like charge station and mission ops is now so operational. <laughs> oh dear God! All right, I gotta go through this conversation again. Mind with lies. Um. All right, I'm gonna cut here and I'll be right back. Okay, here we go. Please. What am I supposed to do here? Am I supposed to lock myself in a jail cell? Am I supposed to start punching him? That didn't work too well last time. Oh, God. I'm nearly certain I'm supposed to talk to him. Like, that's what's supposed to happen. Because that's what happened last time, right? Like, the guy up there told me, go down the stairs. I did. He was down here, and we started speaking. But I can't talk to him. Whoa, look at that light. Pretty. shielding and let them return to the boarding carrier. We've got what we wanted, and now I'll have to explain to President Angelov why we decided it was necessary to kill his son. That should be fun. Overall, some fine work. Especially nice that you managed to incapacitate all of them. Pretty damn depressing. I didn't incapacitate a single one of them. That, no, this is broken again. Look, yeah, look at this. Look what is happening. Hey, Wade. Hello, missing texture. I see you're on your throne there, buddy. I go down here? Can I? No. Can I open this thing up and jump out again? I don't even know where she opened it up from. Probably just remotely. No. No. All right. The game's broken. This game is broken. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do. Uh, when I first hit the issue with 
the traitor back a little while ago and not being able to progress with, with her. I was looking at the forums and I was looking at what the developers were saying and I almost gave up at that point because I was reading what they were saying and they basically this is what they said. They thought the game was fairly bug free. You know, they thought it was in a really good state. But given that they're a small indie developer and they don't have a lot of access to quality assurance of any sort. This is their first game that they've released, I believe. So they're new, they're small, they don't have that many resources. In other words, they thought it was fairly bug free, but after releasing it into the wild, so to speak, with all of these, all of these different system configurations and all these different pathways that they hadn't tested, now suddenly they realized it's not so bug free. And so they've, like, I was looking on the Steam forums and the announcements, and they said that they're, you know, they apologized for it. They said they're working around the clock to fix it. So, I mean, that's understandable. Like, it, it sucks, but I get it. There's a small indie developer, you know, there's only so much you can do. And the most important thing is that they're trying to fix it. However, what they've said is that. Um, they said that because it's the source engine, and because of how the source engine works, that when they go to make certain changes to, I believe it's the maps, like when they make changes to the maps that are required for certain fixes, it will invalidate your previous save games. So what they're doing is they're planning on releasing a big update towards, I think they said they're planning on it being towards the end of January, so the end of this month. And they're hoping that will fix all of the like almost all of the issues. So they're trying to I think they're trying to consolidate it into one big update so that people's saves only get invalidated once is what I'm guessing they're trying to do, which makes sense. So since it's I mean, okay, if I look on the forums and I maybe ask for help or something, maybe I can find a way to get around this problem that I'm having. Just like I found a way to get past the traitor problem. But the truth is, I don't want to. Like, it's too much of a pain. Maybe there's a way past it, maybe there isn't, but maybe if maybe if there is a way past it, maybe ten minutes later I'll hit another stumbling block. Like, it's just, it's too frustrating. It's not worth it. So what I'm going to do is, I, I, wanted, I want to replay, I know I want to replay this game anyway. Simply to experience the different options. So what I'm going to do is simply wait until the big patch comes out. Or otherwise just until it's in a you know, a really nice state to play it. So I don't have to worry about hitting brick walls all the time. And then I'll start a new playthrough with different options. I think that's probably the best way to go about it. Because trying to get this to work is just too frustrating. It's just a really bad experience. And my saves are going to be invalidated anyway by the big patch, so I'm going to have to start a new playthrough anyway. So that's what I'll do. Uh, normally at the end of a game, I give my thoughts about it and analyze it a bit and talk about my experience with it. But in this case, I didn't even finish the game, so I can't really do that very much. I will say, though, that I really like it. Aside from the horrible technical issues it has, I think it's a really unique game and is really well done. I've never played anything quite like it, and so far I love it, aside from the technical issues. So I'm hoping when I get my hands on the proper version of it, basically, after the big patch comes out, I will have a hopefully nearly flawless or totally flawless and wonderful experience with it. Because I can see it, it's there. You know, that experience is in the game. It's just kind of tarnished by the technical issues. So once those get worked out, I think it's going to be a really, really good game. Until then, though, it's just way too frustrating. And, I mean, it's flat-out unplayable. At the moment. I'm literally hitting progression blockers. I can't even continue the game. It's literally unplayable. For me. Anyway, so yeah. I mean, you know, what experience you will have it, uh, you will have with it could be different. Maybe it'll be perfectly fine for you. Although, just skimming the forums, you can see that a lot of people are having issues. Especially a lot of crashing issues, which thankfully I never even experienced. It's been it's been totally stable. It's just 
Despite being stable, it's not playable for me. Weird. So you might have a different experience with it, but just looking at all the issues, I definitely would recommend just holding off for a little bit. Just wait until it's fixed, wait until it's good to go, and then play it. You'll probably have a much better experience. So yeah, I will start up a new playthrough whenever it's in an acceptable condition, which is probably going to be near the end of January. So, I'll see you then, and thank you for watching.